Ladies and gentlemen, would you please welcome Rich Spleen! Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Danton Denix. Yeah, what a great business you're in. You sell drugs, but you don't have to wear cheap jewellery or drive around in stolen cars. <laughs> Seriously, though, that chairman's speech this afternoon, how long was that? Oh. I, know it's, I know it's normal to give away freebies at these conferences, but hemorrhoid cream? <laughs> So you're having a good time, aren't you? Bit of a first view, isn't it? Getting a stand-up without having to take Viagra first. <laughs> you know you can get Viagra for women these days? I don't know about you guys, but I've been using it for women all along. <laughs> so what about this new wonder drug of yours? That's, uh, what's all the secrecy about that? Surely not worried about the side effects, are we? <laughs> so some lab rats died, who cares? It's not meant for rats. <laughs> OK, I could do without going blind, but other than that, results. <laughs> so what I like about Ganton Denix, you don't get put off by little minor setbacks like that. want a plumber in the house. It's all right for you. You're not here when they turn up asking for cups of tea and... Oh, what about making someone a cup of four tea? Four sugars, one of them had. Unbelievable. I wouldn't mind if they fixed it. They did. That was ages ago. Oh, something Ben threw down it. Well, I'll take it up with Ben, then. Get ready. Yeah? What do you got going on? Oh, this and that. They can't wait up to it. Glenn Ritchie and Cindy Hawthorne are making a pilot for Channel oh, 4. What's the show? It's a sort of travel show. Sort of travel show? It? Is it a travel show or isn't it? Well, it's more about preparing to travel. Well, like packing? Yeah. No, I'm joking. What's it about? It's about packing. How to pack when you go on holiday. Don't laugh. I'm not laughing. So what's it called? It's called What Not to Pack. That's a great title. That's original. Stop it. So what happens is you just watch people packing? No, each week there's a different celebrity. Oh, phew, it's got celebrities. Where they're going, who we're, the why, and then... Then you watch them packing. I think you're jealous. I am. I'm very jealous. I can't believe I didn't think of it. Hi, Magda. Yeah, Magda. You think you could improve on your packing technique? Just ignore him, Magda. You know, when you're going on holiday, a uh, few tips on how to pack. I don't go on holiday. It's too expensive. No, but when you're a child. You... Well, one time when I'm eight years old, whole family must pack very quickly because army are coming to burn houses. Well, there you go. How to pack in a war zone. That's your second series right there. Thanks. Good luck with that. Thanks. Bye-bye, Nathan. Bye. What is problem? Oh, Ben's gone and blocked out the waste of Maybe I can fix... Oh, I really wouldn't bother. It's, uh, it's a thing with a plumber. You I've really... Turn it. Believe me, I've tried that. Yeah, that's what I was doing. It's jammed. <laughs> Fixed it. You do the hemorrhoids gag? No. I didn't use any of the stuff you wrote. No. So what did you do? Oh, I just came up with a load of gags about this new wonder drug they're developing. Got big laughs. Sure you did. I stormed it. Mm. You never give me credit. I come up with this stuff all the time. You're right. You're prolific. You're a comic genius. Now, let's write some gags for these peanut packets. God, I wish I'd never agreed to doing this. It's like writing jokes for lolly sticks. It's not. It's for adults. It's sophisticated. How about Rick says, grab my nuts? Oh, please. That's the level they want. This is my reputation we're talking about. It's my face on the peanut packets. Hey, Ben, Sam. How's it going? You guys like peanuts? Not really. No. Yeah, I do. No? Well, yeah. No, I, I like them. Yeah. Uh, Dad, you know um, this free world festival thing? <sighs> the free one, yes. Um, well, we were wondering if maybe we could borrow some money to go. Everything's free. Uh, yeah, well, we do have to pay for the train. Yeah, and I had to sort out the ticket. But they were free. Well, I, I had to phone up. You phoned from here, Ben. Sorry, I don't see why I should be the one who has to fork out for this. I keep giving you money. Yeah, no, no, no worries. Um, yeah, that's fine. I mean, you know, we can just hitchhike. Well, I'm not sure I want you hitchhiking. Yeah, no, don't worry. Um, Ben will be with me, so... How much do you need? Uh... Forty pounds? Mm -hmm. Well, fifty would be best, you know, if, if we're coming back. Fifty. Yeah. Okay. Cheers. That's great. 
Oh, um, that was it. Uh, we heard your name on the radio. Yeah, something you said or something. Yeah, uh, jokes about drug companies. You heard me doing gags? No, they were just talking about you on the news. You just heard the word drugs and that was it. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Nice work, Rick. Shares in the drug giant Ganton Denix are heading for free fall, following rumors that the company's new drug has been found to have dangerous side effects. Incredible, because of what I said. <laughs> An estimated 60 million pounds was wiped off the company's value after comments made by TV comedian Rick Spleen at the annual dinner. That's what it says. Yeah, right here. 60 million. TV comedian. It's interesting they still see me as a TV comedian. That's hardly the main point of the story. You just cost these guys 60 million quid. Well, it was clearly a joke. They were all laughing. I'm glad they had fun. They did. Apart from this one table, but they were Japanese, so. Whoa, that makes sense. Hold on. The panic began on the Tokyo market when rumors began to circulate amongst investors that the lab rats began. This is great. Rick's been sneezes. Tokyo catches a cold. I mean, I've done gigs where people in the room don't even know I'm on. <sighs> now the whole world wants to hear what I have to say. I can't believe this. I'm having lunch with Lenny Bruce. <laughs> hey, Michael, how are you? Rick's hungry. He's been busy destroying capitalism. Yeah, see this? Did a few jokes about these people. Wiped 60 million off their share prices. Incredible the power of the spoken word. <laughs> yes, yes, isn't it? An old friend of mine from the city's lost rather a lot of money, as will many of his clients whose pension funds are now worthless. Still, I'm sure it seemed hilarious at the time. Right, I'll get your coffees. There goes our complimentary refills. Oh, so what if you pinstripe idiots got their fingers burned? Share prices go down as well as up. That's what I say on all those voiceovers. OK, I say it really fast, but so what? <laughs> OK, would you care to order? Yeah, what's the special today? There isn't one. I'm winding down for my annual weekend break. Ah, you're going away? Yes, the weekend after next. Has been on the notice board for some time. Yeah, I gotta admit, I only look at the notice board if I want a cat psychiatrist or a birthing pool. Oh, I see. Well, it is worth checking on a regular basis. Yeah, so where are you going? Just down to the coast. A bit of walking, a bit of metal detecting, usual thing. Ah, metal detecting. You ever found anything? Oh, all the time. Horseshoes, nails, the old coin. The hobby that pays for itself. Well, no, not really. It's mostly just small change, but it's great fun. It sounds like the perfect holiday. You should get your mail show. <laughs> what show's this? Oh, it's a TV show she's involved in uh, about people packing to go on holiday. I'll get you on it if you like. What, me? On television? Oh, there's only a pilot, but... Uh... Well, I, I'd love to, but I don't see that me metal detecting. I'll mention it to Mel. <laughs> yes, but surely it's celebrities they're after. No, not just celebrities. They want normal people as well. mentioned it to him? No, of course not. I mean, Marty might have said something, but then it was his idea, so... Not Michael. Well, it is what that kind of show is all about. No one really wants to watch happy families packing to go to the beach. What you want is your full-on weirdos. Well, maybe, Much but... more fun seeing some oddball folding up his clothes and talking about his metal detector. I hate to admit it, but Marty's probably right. I should tell a lie. It was uh, it was my idea, and then yeah, and then Marty agreed. Anyway, anyway. <sighs> Watch the news in a minute. See if I've managed to bring the entire world banking system to its knees. <laughs> Don't seem to be taking this very seriously. Well, come on, it's only numbers, isn't it? Just numbers. It's people's pensions and savings and Dad. You can be very unpopular, you know. Dad. Dan, uh, you know the um, free world festival? Uh, the free one that's costing me fifty pounds, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Um, well, uh, I was reading an interview on the website, and uh, the organisers were saying that maybe you should do a speech about drugs industry being all evil and that. Yeah. See, they want me to do a gig. Yeah. No, uh, it's just a speech, actually. But um, so should I email them and say that you're up for it, or? Yeah. Yeah. Why not? I'll come along. Don't like to disappoint people. Really? Oh, yeah, cool. All right. Well, if you're going, you can give Sam a lift. You'll have to, yeah. Uh, yeah, no, it's all right. We're going to get a lift with Spikey's dad. Um, he's doing Sam for one of the bands. Right, so the £50 I gave you for the train? Oh, yeah, well, we were thinking maybe we should give it to Spikey's dad towards petrol. Well, 
you know, some of it anyway. So. Okay, uh, night. Night, sleep well. Night. If you want, I can do. Rick, where is that? I'm busy. So I'm doing it. Think you better see this. Yeah, wait! Turn anti clockwards. Clockwise. I'm just saying it's stiff. Ben keeps sticking his bottle tops down here. Do you've seen him do this? No, but he's always doing it. Rick, this is serious. Oh, shut up. Maybe don't be so strong with it. Just pull it. <sighs> now look what we've done. The whole thing will have to be replaced. I told you we should have got a plumber in the first place. Rick! This whole Gantenetics thing is blown up. They've just gone bankrupt. Tell me, Chaz. You do. You know this wonder drug they were working on? Yeah. Well, it turns out it was a breakthrough treatment for HIV. HIV? Yeah. They say this is going to set back a cure for AIDS by five years. Christ. Well, how was I to know? They can't blame me for that. Well, you were the one that wiped out their shares by saying there were side effects. Yeah, but they were jokes. I, did, I didn't know these drugs were so important. You do now. OK. Let's not overreact. I mean, at the end of the day, all that's happened here is that we wrote some jokes and they got the wrong end of the stick. Oh, I didn't write those jokes. Yeah, but they're exactly the kind of jokes that you would have written. Magda, aren't they the kind of gags that Marcy would write? I don't know what this is about. What happened is Rick has opened his mouth trying to prove how funny he is. I'm a comedian! And now there's not going to be a cure for AIDS. This is bad. Yeah, I think we've established that. You're phoning plumber? <laughs> I've got bigger things to worry about than phoning the plumber. Yeah, this is way too heavy. He's got to do damage limitation. Yeah, yeah hi, it's Rick. Yeah, you know this gig I did for Ganton yeah, Denex? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Is the check cleared? If this drug is so good, surely some other company will pick it up. Well, you'd hope so. Exactly. So this is really just a temporary blip. I mean, I don't think we've actually done any genuine harm. We. Oh, Michael, I was going to say, sorry about your friend. I didn't mean to make light of it. It's just that the whole thing has blown up in my face a bit. Oh, the shares thing. Yeah. Now, I thought this one would look good on camera. It's a real beauty, sensitive to about 18 inches, depending on soil quality. All oh, right, what not to pack. Yes, yes. It's got discrimination control, so you can actually define between ferrous and non-ferrous objects, so you don't waste too much time digging up rubbish. God forbid. So will there be makeup and such like for the filming? Oh, yeah, probably. I mean, it's not confirmed yet. I did mention it to Mel, and she's going to suggest you for the pilot. Right, right. And then they start to build a set and so on. A set? Yes, at my house. Well, no. They come and film at your house. They don't build a set that looks like your house. It's a reality show. Oh, I see. So it's actual reality. Oh, I'd never realized. That's the serial number. I, mean, I can see that. Yeah, it's a waste disposal unit. I know what it is. I just can't get you one. Well, why not? It's been discontinued. Don't you have a lunch break? Yeah, this is it. Wouldn't it be easier to just close for half an hour? No. That would just annoy people, wouldn't it? Oh, yeah. So why has it been discontinued? I don't know. Very popular model, that one. What's so popular they thought, let's not make it anymore? 
That's the kind of thing they do, isn't it? Huh? That's what they do. Alright, well, have you got any other kind of waste disposal units? Well, it depends what you want, you know? Batch feed, continuous feed. Just want one that does the job. Well, that's a very good one. Right, how much is that? It's uh, 198 plus VAT. That's a bit expensive, isn't it? No, it lasts forever, though. Cope with anything, that will. You could practically put the Christmas tree down that. Oh, good. All right, I'll have one of those. How right, do you want to pay? Debit card. Is it a new one? Yeah. Well, the box is a bit... Yeah, I'm not charging you for the box. Can I get a discount for that? Yeah. If you buy 50. You want the extended warranty? What? 28 quid. I get two years extra cover. Well, what do I want that for? In case anything goes wrong. Yeah, you just said it would last forever. The Christmas tree would go yeah, down. Yeah, but look, it covers you for everything. Accidental damage, wear and tear, theft. Theft? Who the hell's going to steal a waste disposal well, unit? Don't want it. Don't have it. No, I don't want it. It's They're up to a rip you, off those it? things. Yeah, it is up to me, and I don't want it's it. Fine, well, don't have it then. I mean, that's how places like this make their money, isn't it? No, it isn't. Yeah, it is. It's like when you go to a shoe shop and buy a pair of shoes, and they try and sell you all that stupid spray to put them on and polish and well, cloth and buy God them knows then. what. Well, I don't, because no, they're good. a scam. Those no, things. No, no, it's not a scam. You know perfectly well this is a scam because you're selling things to people that they don't need. And I personally, I wouldn't want that on my conscience. So, look, I, uh, I didn't want to say anything, but. Um... Aren't you the bloke that's just stopped there being a cure for AIDS? Disposal unit. I'll answer your question. Is no According to the company's chief scientist, early results had been extremely promising. But the collapse of Gant and Denix means that all further trials of the so called wonder drug have now been halted. Campaigners have described the latest development as a devastating blow in the fight against AIDS. The World Health Organization also expressed its concern over what's now being referred to as the Rick Spleen debacle. In other news, the President of the European Union... That's great. I've had a debacle named after me. Mm, it's not good. I mean, sometimes these big companies... they get bailed out by their governments. Let's hope so. It's just, just a gig. A few jokes. Now all this. I know. Maybe I should make a donation. It's £60 million. Pounds. Don't know if it would make that much difference. It's quite serious, isn't it? I know. It's really bloody serious. Maybe you should do a press release. Say how sorry you are. Yeah, you're right. I mean, sometimes you just have to come out and say, sorry, my writer screwed up. Was it all Marty's stuff, then? Pretty much, yeah. And yet, I'm public enemy number one. I'm sure this bloke was following me this afternoon. It's probably just another journalist. Didn't look like a journalist. What did he look like? More like a professional hitman. <laughs> come on. Well, why not? Some Japanese gangster loses millions of yen as a result of me. He pays someone to take me out as a warning to other comics. Maybe you just need a break. Why don't we go away for a bit and let things calm down? I suppose we could get Cindy and Glenn to come and film us packing. <laughs> a nice idea. Actually, that's been shelved. What not to pack? I was looking forward to it. <laughs> the commissioning editor got fired. Mm. What was he told to pack his... Yeah, we had all the jokes at the office. Please proceed to the departure lounge. Yeah, obviously, that one. 
Oh, God. What? Michael. He thinks he's going to be on the show. Oh, wow. Oh, well, he's obsessed with it. He's going to take it really badly. When are you going to tell him? Me? I'm not telling him. Well, I've got enough on my plate with all this AIDS nonsense. Uh, hi, Mum. Hi, Dad. Hi. Um, Dad, you know the, um, Free World Festival? Yeah, yeah, how's that coming on? Well, um, the organisers were saying it's probably best if you stay away, you know, because of... Because of the AIDS thing? Yeah. The Rick Spleen debacle? Yeah, that. Well, they probably think it's inappropriate for me. No, just, uh, it's just not safe, really. Uh, but I'm gonna head off. Good night. Thanks. Bells high on a hill, history chimes, new one and new beginning. Tell me in barrel or quill your purpose and mine. Prove that our world is spinning. So here goes nothing better. And here's to something. Until tomorrow, but that's another time. It's just another. What happens if you go on a plane? Can you take a metal detector through a metal detector? Or do they just cancel each other out? Shush. Or does the big metal detector just say, It's okay, he's a friend? Shut up. Anyway, you're supposed to be writing gags about peanuts. Don't ever say yes to anything like this again. How'd he go, Magda? It's okay. You sure? He said everything's okay. Yes, I don't understand. Why are you hiding from Plumber? I wasn't hiding from him. I'm in the middle of something. I haven't got time to sit around talking about waste disposal units all day. Well, it's okay because he's put new and it's working. Did you make him a cup of tea? Of course. How many sugars did he have? I don't know. He helped himself. I bet he did. He did have many biscuits, though. You gave him biscuits? Well, he asked for biscuits, so I gave him. <sighs> Did he say what was wrong with the old one? Was it Ben's bottle tops? No, it's, um, cherry stones. Somebody... Yeah, all right, I haven't got time to discuss all this. We've got a deadline. OK. We need one more peanut gag. <sighs> OK. What was it? Rick says, grab my nuts. We used that already. From you. Me? Why should I tell? Well, I'm in the middle of a major international crisis. It seems only fair that you should deal with Michael. You're the one who crushed his dream. Oh, don't be stupid. He's probably forgotten about it anyway. Good afternoon, or should I say action? Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Michael, um, can now, I... Now, do you think I should use my normal voice, or should I project more? Uh, yeah, normal, but... I, mean, but... I don't want it to look hammy. Uh, well, you won't, because what's happening... No, you're is... right. Yes, just act naturally. Be myself. Act as if the cameras weren't well, there. Well, on that note, can I just explain? The cameras actually won't be there. Really? How will they be filming it? They won't. The show's been cancelled. Commissioning editor's been fired. Oh. Yeah. Told him to pack his bags. <laughs> really? Where's he going? No, that was a... Well, I don't know. Well, I must say this is a massive disappointment. I know. I don't know why Mel got your hopes up like that. I don't know what she was thinking. Hey, you still have your metal detecting to look forward to? Yes, yes. Well, there is that. It won't be quite the same without the cameras there. Packing on my own, again. Oh, I might get lucky. Find some buried treasure. <laughs> <laughs> With respect, that's precisely the kind of misunderstanding that you get in the metal detecting community. Better get on. Plates to clear. I think he took that well. Yeah, well, he'll get over it. Mr. Splate. What do you want? Can I just have a quiet word with you? Well, who are you? Simon Russell. I'm from The Times. Look, we're doing a piece about Gantz and Dennis. Yes. Yeah, I, 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 listen, I'm issuing a press release. The whole thing was a misunderstanding. Yeah, come on, you knew what you were doing. Yeah, it was just some jokes, which he wrote, by the way. Hey, wait a minute. Look, it's OK. You can level with me. We've been on to it for months. We just wondered how you knew. 
I mean, we knew about the drug trials going badly wrong and that they were trying to cover it up. But how did you know? About? About the side effects? You must have had inside information, yeah? Well, I had my suspicions all along. I got called into the usual briefing before the gig and that's something about it didn't add up. And what was it in particular? Well, the whole thing, really. Mm. I thought, I have to speak out. Nobody silences me, not when their lives at stake. Well done, you. Thank you. So you were the one that wrote the actual jokes? Well, like he said, no, He didn't I... write those jokes, he just wrote a gag about hemorrhoid cream. <laughs> <laughs> OK, was like, do you think you could just, uh, just talk me through it from the beginning, yeah? Yeah, yeah well, it was uh, Ganton Denix called me in... Sorry, should I just... Yeah, Ganton Denix called me into the office. Uh, usual thing, paperwork on the desks and... OK, maybe I shouldn't have worked. Spleengate. Yeah. All of a sudden, you're a whistleblower. I know, I've gone from debacle to gate overnight. Why well, is called gate? Well, you know, Watergate. Richard Nixon. Yeah, America? Of course. Um, it was something that happened in America, very much like this. So you are a big hero now? You save world from bad men? Well, I wouldn't put it quite like that, Magda. But yeah, that is pretty much the gist of it. I think one of them actually compared me to Lenny Bruce. Really? Which one is that? Oh, I can't remember. I think it was The Guardian. Page five. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. And that's a quote from you, though. Yeah, but they obviously agreed or they wouldn't have printed it. So these confidential documents that you saw in their office... Right? It's what was better if it doesn't them? go any further, you know? I saw what I saw and I did what had to be done. Yeah. I mean, the main thing is a corrupt pharmaceutical company has been exposed. And, yes, I'm getting the credit for it. So, all in all, it has turned out pretty well. <laughs> There's still no cure for AIDS, though. The glass is always half empty for you, isn't it, Magda? Mm. 